Hello friends, welcome back to another video of Automation Test Insider. So today I'm going to talk about an important topic that is defect masking. So what is defect masking in software testing or what do you mean by mask defect? So we'll discuss about different examples of defect masking. So let's understand first what do you mean by mask defect. So mask defect commonly known as a defect that hides other defect in the application is called mask defect. So let me just explain. So let's say we are testing any application and there is a functionality A which we are testing right now and there is a related functionality called B. So functionality B is related with the functionality A and there is a defect we found while testing functionality A. So there is a defect in the functionality A and there is a defect in functionality 2 as well, functionality B. So since we cannot execute functionality B without functionality A, so since we got defect over here, we cannot execute functionality B. So defect 2 is mask defect. So this part will be unnoticed because we cannot execute this part, right? So defect here in functionality B is called mask defect. Let me give some other examples guys. Uh, so uh, usually we used to get uh, defect masking or mask defect in page navigation in page navigations page navigation so let's say we are testing any application and in this particular application let's say this is employee website employee website where we have add employee functionality add employee and there is inside so this is one page uh, page one add employee and there is another page called add task add task so we cannot go to this page add task until unless if we don't execute this page right if we don't navigate to this add employee page so we found defect over here add employee we find that uh, uh, we are not able to navigate to this page add employee so we cannot go to add task page so this part will be unnoticed right so whatever defect will get on this particular page at task whatever defects are there which will be unexecuted or we cannot execute this functional uh, related functionality of at task page so this is uh, another example of defect masking or mask defect let me give uh, one more example so let's say uh, we are testing any application and uh, we are printing some uh, some page on this particular application and we have two printers we have laser printer laser printer and we have dot matrix printer dot matrix printer now take an example uh, this is default printer laser printer so uh, let's say we are printing any page and this default printer is we are not able to find this laser printer okay take an example there is no issue but uh, we are not able to find this because of uh, connectivity we are not able to find this laser printer so what a system will do it will search for another printer which is dot matrix printer so there could be uh, there are two functionalities over here first one is search functionality search for uh, dot matrix printer and second one is print print the page correct so uh, until unless we don't find the uh, don't find the uh, dot matrix printer we cannot print the page so defect on this print functionality is called the defect or mask defect here over here defect right so this is mask defect over here so this part will be never be executed until unless we don't execute this search functionality so there is a defect while searching the dot matrix printer okay so this part this defect will be unnoticed forever uh, this print functionality of this dot matrix printer so these are the different examples of defect masking or mask defect guys so let's talk about uh, some theoretical stuff L like just recap what we have discussed so far so when defects are hidden like one defect may be hiding in the another defect in the application is called defect masking mask defect is type of defect that is hidden in the software and hasn't caused a failure because another defect has prevented that part of the code from being executed so there there, there, uh, there won't be uh, that 
it won't uh, cause a failure because another defect has prevented that part of the code from being executed it is only uncovered when the defect hiding it is uncovered by the user by performing a specific operation mask defects are the defects covered by or marked by another defect and can't be identified until the later is detected so uh, the we have we have we talked about different examples of defect masking so guys this is all about this video if you have any questions please write in the comment box so thank you for watching have a nice day bye bye